Hello there everyone and welcome to a new review on the channel. Today you are looking at a brand new product, one that a lot of people have been talking about and one that I don't think has any reviews as of now and that is of course the Brilliant Vanish by Justin Miller. Let's roll the intro and get straight into the review. Perfect, so you decide to stick around, which means you want to learn more about Vanish. Now, what is Vanish? Vanish is essentially a vanishing deck effect. So it's a vanishing deck effect that's gonna let you do a vanishing a deck in front of the spectator's eyes, vanishing a deck of cards inside of a card box, vanishing a deck of cards and finding a four of a kind, vanishing a deck of cards in order to get a prediction, inside of your deck, various different uses, but the main use that I love is just the main routine of the actual vanishing deck, and that's what I'm gonna perform here for you. So you would remove from your pocket your deck of cards, and then you would ask your specter that in a moment they're gonna choose any card. So how this is gonna go is you're just gonna roll your thumb down on the side of the deck and they're gonna say stop. So you're just gonna do that, and let's say they say stop here, perfect. So you're gonna tell them, I want you to place your hand flat for me because I'm gonna place the card right there, okay? Because what we're gonna do now is I want you to look at the card where I'm turning away because I don't want you to think that I could see in the reflection of your glasses or the reflection of your eyes what card it is and I also want you to show it to people so I don't want you to think that anyone here is in on it and that could tell me while they're looking at the card what the card is. So I'm gonna turn around just like that and you can show the card. So the specter would take the card and they would show it to everyone. Okay, just like so. They would place it back in their hand and say, perfect. So everyone here knows what the card is, correct? Perfect. So normally what I would do is I would take the card, I would place it inside of the deck and then I would snap my fingers and the card would vanish inside of my pocket. But you guys have been a really good group uh, up until now. So I'm going to do something special for you. Instead of making the card go from the deck to the pocket, we're going to make the card go from the pocket to the deck. So we're going to take the card, we're going to place it inside of the pocket. So they could see that if you're standing up, they could see that clearly. And now we're gonna make the card visually go into the deck and you're gonna see it happen. It's gonna happen on three. One, two, and three. The whole deck vanishes. Every single card vanishes except for one. What was your card? They're gonna say the Queen of Hearts and you say, can you confirm with a big round of applause that I was the, King of, the Queen of Hearts? And it is, of course, but now you may be asking yourself where the deck went. And you remember where the Queen of Heart was inside of the pocket now is actually the full deck of cards. So that would be a performance of Vanish by Justin Miller, okay? So that is a normal performance of the effect of their routine that I think is the most workhorseable, the most fun, and the most surprising, and we're gonna talk about that as we go into their review. So first and foremost, as with every review, where do you buy this, how much does it cost, and what do you get? So. At the moment of writing, you can only buy this at illusionist.com. I know Alakazam had some stock, which is where I bought mine, but no more stock there. I know Justin had his stock, no more stock there. I know it's sold out. And I know that every other shop where he sent a bit of stock, they all got sold out. So the only place you can still buy Vanish right now is at illusionist.com. It's gonna set you back 50 US dollars. And what you get is this envelope, okay? Inside of this envelope, you're gonna get your two gimmicks, which are really, really well made. We're gonna talk about that as we go through the review. So you get your two gimmicks, and then you also get on here, this here is the card on the back here. You get your, your password for the video, and the video is with Justin Miller and a few of his guests. And it's separate videos, it's like 10 to 20 minute long videos describing each of the effects, how to take care of the gimmick, how it works, how to activate it, all of that in separate videos, all well filmed, all super well explained. Justin Miller takes the time in every single effect to make sure that once you watch like the 15 minute or 20 or 25 minute tutorial for that specific effect, you will know how to do every single minute detail of the corresponding effect, which is great. Similar can be said about the guests. He has Gregory Wilson do a very cool routine where the specter has to follow the deck and not the card. And then as he turns around, the specters don't follow the deck because now the deck is in this hand and the card is in that hand. It's a really fun little routine. You then have Adam Wilbur that does a variation of David Regal's disposable deck with the Vanish gimmick. 
And then you have Craig Petty, which teaches you three routines with the Vanish gimmick. That, for my favorite routine that he teaches is one where you have a red deck and a blue deck. You ask your spectator, you're going to choose one which one you want. And then they're going to choose a card in that deck. And then when you tell them, so my goal is to find your card inside of this deck, but we're going to do it interestingly. We're going to make the deck Vanish except for one, and that's their card. That's Craig Petty's routine. You get all of that inside of the video. And of course, as I mentioned, your gimmick. So that is what you get. So moving on into difficulty. Is this effect difficult to perform? And the answer is no. This is not difficult to perform whatsoever. There is a bit of moves here and there that you have to do, but it's nothing too groundbreaking. I would say it's in between beginner to intermediate. I think even intermediate magicians are going to get this and are going to be able to do it off the cuff, nothing really complicated, but I do think beginner magicians, if they if they buy this, Justin Miller does go extremely in depth in every single move, so you're gonna get the tuition there, but even the, the routining, I think maybe with a bit of practice, you're gonna be able to do. So nothing too, too difficult here. And the main positive here regarding difficulty is the gimmick itself, because other Vanishing Deck gimmicks will take the two most kind of known ones as of late, and that is, of course, Christian Grace's level one and decoy by Ewan, Ewan O'Hare. I'm sorry if I butchered his name. I'm just going to call him O'Hare. Um, but yeah, those two gimmicks, the positives of Vanish is that it's a one hand activation instant gimmick, which means that the gimmick plays in the deck the entire trick and it's activated whenever you want it with just one hand. So you don't need to do any fishing, you don't need to do any like going into your pockets, you don't need to do any like covering the deck, any like really complicated misdirection, right? Because some of those decks like um, level one or decoy, you need to misdirect the spectator, you need to do deck switches, you need to do like, oh, can you please take out your phone, go to the camera, do this while you're setting up your gimmick, etc. Whereas here, none of that, you literally just start with your full deck. You do have select, you do make your specter select a card. And then as you turn around and you come back, it's done. It literally takes, I would say one, maybe two seconds to activate the gimmick, which is to me, the major positive of Vanish over any other Vanishing deck I've ever bought. It is instant and super, super quick. So that is a major major positive in terms of difficulty because it removes all the additional sleight of hand or misdirection you would have had to do with some other gimmicks. So that is absolutely great. And also, in my opinion, it has one of the best, if not the best visual of the deck disappearing of all of the gimmicks on top of that. So not only is it easier, it also has an incredible visual because sometimes when the gimmick is easier, the visual isn't as good, right? when you take the time to work and to put in the sleight of hand, then sometimes you make gimmicks look better. But here, it's not only easy, but it looks better than most decks out there, which is incredible, right? So having said that, let's move into practicality. So is this effect practical to perform? And the answer is yes, because all you have to do is carry around your gimmick, okay? That's all you have to do. And the gimmick is the size of a playing card. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm, I'm not, of course, I'm not gonna show you how the gimmick works or anything, but this is the gimmick. You cannot see anything. This is the side. This is the size of a playing card, right? This is literally the size of a playing card. It's not two cards thick, three cards thick. It is very, very thin. It's basically like literally the size of a normal playing card almost. It's a bit thicker than a normal playing card, but nothing noticeable. It is that thin, which means that you can use this from the start in your deck. No one is going to notice. There's not going to be a noticeable bulge. There's not going to be like a big crack in the deck. No one is going to notice that your gimmick is here, which makes it extremely practical because you don't have to ring it in in the middle of the performance. You don't have to switch decks, right? Which makes the practicality of use very, very good. Also, since it's only one gimmick, it's great because you can even do this with a borrowed deck of cards, right? You don't need to carry around a special gimmick deck or anything like that with you. you just carry around a single card. You can put it in the cellophane of your card box and you're good to go, you're good to perform. You don't need any extensive setup with your deck, nothing, nothing like that, right? Which is absolutely great. It's super easy to do and super easy to perform as well. So practicality wise is just the size of a playing card. So you put it in your cellophane and whenever you wanna do the trick, as you remove the deck, you remove the card from the cellophane 
and you are good to go. Simple as that. So practicality is very, very good. However, one thing in practicality is that as you might imagine, since the gimmick card is one card thick, it means that the the card that is selected by the spectator is not, is not an entirely free choice. And it means that if you do it to multiple spectators as a t at a time or, you know, one after the other, it will always be the same card because the gimmicks that you get are twofold. One of them is a court card. So it can be any of the court cards. It's not a specific court card for every person. It's a random one. So you can literally get anyone. Right. And the other one is a joker that you can use for other effects, like in boxes to practice anything like that, which means that the joker is not necessarily the card that the spectator is going to select, which means that that card is going to be repeated over and over again. There is, um, I do believe it's Gregory Wilson that told you, you can easily customize that gimmick to make it any card that you want. And you could maybe do that if you want, but you know, most of the time you're stuck to one card. That's not an incredible, uh, issue, but I know for some people it is one. To me, I feel that we overthink these type of things because if you're doing a show that's two hours table hopping from table to table and you perform this to a few tables and then let's say two best friends at that table come together, the chance that one of those two people forgot what the card was in the actual trick is, in my opinion, 90%. Is 90% of the time, is 90%. So if you're scared that if you're at a venue and you perform this for multiple tables, they're going to talk about the trick. Most of the time, I guarantee you that when they're going to talk about it, they're not going to be like, oh, did I magician show you the trick where I chose specifically the queen of hearts for that effect? The queen of hearts, he then took it, he puts it in the deck. No, they're probably going to be, oh, did he do that trick where he takes your card, puts it in the deck, but then in the pocket and then the deck vanishes and the deck goes in the pocket. That's what they're going to say, right? So I don't think that's a major issue, but if you want to do this for like, two tables glued together and they can listen and watch, then maybe it's an issue. But again, not that big of a problem, but it is something to keep in mind. So having said that, where would you perform Vanish? So where is Vanish excelling in terms of performance? So Vanish excels in close-up scenarios. So it excels there because the visual close-up is incredible. It's honestly incredible. I've performed this to, I think, three or four people as of the making of this video. And every single one of them told me, I did not see that coming, which, which is great because if the specter believes that that is truly a deck of cards in your hand, it means the gimmick is extremely well made for, for starters, which of course we know, but it also means that the effect is fooling because if they don't see where it's going, it catches them by surprise. And in such a close scenario where they feel they can see everything, that's great. So number one, this is performable anywhere close up table hopping, restaurants, bars, casual performances, street, anywhere close up, this can be performed. Angle wise close up as well. It's nothing too bad. I think that the only angle that could be an issue is if someone is, if you're holding the deck in your left hand, right over your right shoulder, looking down. So that could be a small angle issue, but you could easily adjust it by moving the deck closer to your chest, right? And doing the visual here. And when you do the visual, you move forward and you make the deck vanish. Right? So you can adjust that, but again, maybe just there, because except for there, if even someone is here, like on this side, they co they're covered by, you're covered by your thumb and by the way you hold the deck. So probably the only bad angle is if someone is on your right side behind your right shoulder, right? So angle wise, that's good too, but nonetheless, so you can perform this anywhere close up because one, the reset is pretty much instant. Also, once you take the deck out of your pocket, you're ready to go again, pretty much, but Apart from that, you can perform this parlor for sure. This would look great in parlor, right? Of course, if it's a big like parlor setting, because I know people have different um, definitions of what parlor is. For someone, a parlor show is 20 people. For some people, a parlor show is 120 people, right? For some of them, a stage show is 100 people. For other people, a stage show is 1,000 people. So the variations kind of differ here, but for a parlor show, if I'd say 20, 30, 40 people, this is going to play well. People are going to see it. People are going to see the visual. They're going to see everything happen. It's going to work well. If it's a bigger crowd and you don't have like a camera, this is not going to be essentially the best effect to perform for that type of crowd. But of course, if you have the equipment and the ability to have a camera on stage while you're doing this, Vanish is going to work perfectly as well. So 
Having covered all of the bases of the gimmick, the effect, the difficulty, and everything in between, let's go into the positives and negatives. First, let's start off, as I usually do most of the time, with the negatives. So what are the negatives of Vanish by Justin Miller? So one of the negatives is that the card is going to be the same the same one pretty much over and over and over again, except if you buy multiple sets, most of the time you're gonna be stuck to one card. There are ways to circumvent that in certain routines. You could do different things to possibly change what card it is and make it seem like it's different every time. But most of the time, if you wanna do the classic routine that I just showed you, which is my favorite by far, it's most of the time gonna be the same card, okay? So, Having said that, the other negative that I have with this product, which is probably my biggest one, is that it's, I, I don't know because they've not confirmed it, but I do believe that once Illusionist runs out of stock, this will be unavailable everywhere. So that means you won't be able to get refills from Justin, from any magic shop, you will not be, re, you will not be able to get this effect anywhere else. So once, I don't know, maybe Illusionists are gonna keep making gimmicks forever, for this effect, I'm not sure because they're very hard to do, in my opinion. And from what Justin has explains, this is not something that I think 95% of people are not going to be able to replicate. So if your gimmick breaks, you're probably never going to be able to, to remake it, which means that if both your gimmick break over time, you're not going to be able to buy another set. If illusionists don't keep making these, this means that once your set is done, it is done forever. And that is that's a negative, but it's also like a major positive because it shows how much I love this effect. I, I'll, I'm going to be heartbroken when I keep performing this over and over again, and eventually my gimmicks wear out and they're unusable anymore. I'm going to be devastated because I love this effect so much. The visual and everything on it is so incredibly great. So I truly hope illusionists keep making these, these gimmicks because they're truly worth it. They are incredible. They are incredible. But again, that is for, for some people maybe a negative because right, you're paying 50 bucks and maybe you're never gonna be able to re-get this effect ever again. So maybe if you wanted, buy two, three, four sets of them so that you have them for a very, very long time. So that is all I have to say about the negative. So what are the positives of this? Positive number one, the gimmick is extremely well made. It's gonna last you a long time and it looks great. The visual is great. The reactions this gets are great. The tutorial video is great. The reset is great. The angles are great. It's super easy to perform as well. You have a lot of routines that you can do with this. You're not just stuck with the routine I performed for you. Everything about this product is great. So that's all I have to say about Vanish by Justin Miller. So would I recommend this product and what would I rate it out of 10? I thoroughly recommend Vanish. If you're any card magician, I thoroughly recommend you get this, you are going to get mileage and you are going to love performing this. Whether it's in in real life or social media, it looks as good. You're going to love performing this effect. It is incredible. So I definitely, definitely recommend Vanish by Justin Miller. What would I rate it out of 10? I'm going to rate it a 9 out of 10. That's the highest I believe I've ever given a vanishing gimmick, a vanishing deck gimmick because it deserves it because it is the best vanishing deck gimmick out there. But it does have its own caveats, right? Like every trick, there are certain things that are, no trick is perfect in my opinion. So having said that, that's all I have to say about Vanish. Make sure if you have any comments, any ideas, anything that you wanna ask me, I'll try and answer in the comments to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see everyone in my next review. Have a great one.